Okay, welcome to our channel. Ang discussion natin ngayon ay tungkol sa absolute community of property regime. This is important in the determination of the amount of the gross estate of the decedent, especially if the decedent died married, di ba? Kasi kung unmarried, iba naman ang consideration. Okay, so, agaya ng sinabi ko, this is important in the computation of the gross estate. Pero yung charges against the absolute community is are also important sa pag-determine ng ordinary deductions. Okay, so let us start with the formula in the computation of the state tax. Yan. So, dalawang klase ang formula depending upon the decedent kung nadamatay siya married or unmarried. Okay. Anong pagkakaiba? First, in the computation of the gross estate, pagka married, there is a big possibility na merong common property yung mag-asawa. Pero pagka uh, unmarried, siyempre, wala naman siyang asawa. Walang common property. And then, uh, pagdating sa deductions, merong charges against the common property of the spouses. And in this episode, pag-uusapan natin, ang common property ng mag-asawa ay ang community property of the spouses. Which is, also composed of dahil common property nga composed of the share of the husband and the share of the wife okay so ito ito meron nito pero wala sa unmarried decedent. Okay. And then sa gross estate, iisa-isahin natin yan because if the decedent died with a surviving spouse, yun mad madaling sabi, or in other words, married, merong common property yung mag-asawa. Okay, so, assuming you are now a CPA and you are hired, or kahit basta practicing uh, tax basta tax practitioner ka you are hired to compute the state tax of a decedent person or of a decedent anong una mong tanong your first question should be whether the decedent died with a surviving spouse anong una mong tanong Yung namatay ba, mayroong asawa o wala? Most probably, ang mag-hire sa iyo na mag-compute ng estate tax ay ang pamilya. The surviving spouse probably or the children. Or a representative of the family members. Okay, so... Unmarried decedent. Dalawang klase kasi ang decedent. Either unmarried or married. Sino ba ang unmarried? Pag iisa-isahin natin mamaya. Pero kung walang asawa, halimbawa matandang binata, matandang dalaga, Wala tayong tinatawag na property relations. Lahat ng property niya, siya lang ang may-ari, exclusively owned by him. Yan. Wala siyang kahati dyan unless the property sa co-ownership with another person. Okay. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng unmarried? Single. Never been married. Okay. Legally separated. 
Meron, pero there was a decree of legal separation made by the court. And kasi ang susunod sa legal separation na yan, separation of properties, yung common properties ng mag-asawa na na-acquire nila during their marriage. Okay. Assuming hindi naman single, hindi naman legally separated, pero naunang na mayapa yung kanyang asawa. So, widow or widower, balo. Or, yung marriage niya, naanal. Uh, alam mo, pag naanal ang marriage, balik sa pagiging binata o dalaga ang lalaki at saka yung babae. Okay. Balik sa pagiging single. So, kasama sa annulment of marriage, pagkain approve ng korte yung separation or paghi paghahati ng mga properties ng mag-asawa so ayan single never been married o kaya widow legally separated or marriage has been anal okay so Yan ang una mong dapat itanong sa pamilya. Kasi pwedeng pamilya niya pero hindi naman kasal yung namatay. Pamilya niya pero hindi naman sila ikinasal ng kanyang asawa. Okay. So ito ang mga rules na dapat mong tandaan. Ay, kailan ba na didissolve ang Community property. So the keyword is JALD. Okay. Ang tatandaan mo. Judicial separation of property during the marriage. Pwede rin namang ikinasal. Pero they agreed on a judicial separation. Of property. So yung property ni wife, kanya lang. Yung property naman ni husband, sa kanya lang. Walang common property yung mag-asawa. That is possible. Basta pinag-usapan nila, antinoxial. Okay. Judicial separation. Ano ang sunod? Annulled or declared void. So, wala na ngang community property regime or conjugal partnership of gains ang mag-asawa kung naanal na o na-declare ng void yung kasal nila. Next, legally separated or death of either spouse. That's why sabi ko, pagka na-anal yung marriage, na-legally separated yung mag-asawa, namatay yung isa sa mag-asawa na una na pre Halimbawa, naunang namatay yung babae, so yung lalaki is now a widower, namatay din siya, at yung estate niya, ang i-compute ko ng estate tax, walang pag-uusapan na common property ng mag-asawa because upon annulment, legal separation, or death of either spouse, ang kasunod niyan ay separation ng properties nila. Okay. Yung marriage, yung property relation nila or marriage settlement, madidissolve din. Pagka nangyari itong annulment, legal separation, or death of either spouse. That's why, limbawa balo, o kaya separated, pero separated legally, or naanal yung marriage, Do not worry about absolute community of property, regime, or conjugal partnership of gains anymore. Kasi wala na yan. Okay. So, rules. Unmarried, no property relation. So, yung unang formula ang gagawin natin. So, walang common property 
na consider dahil wala naman talaga. Next. Paano kung sabi ng anak, mag-asawa sila, pero hindi naman kasal legally? O, sa madaling sabi, live in. Live in lang sila. They were not married legally. So, meron bang conjugal partnership or community property regime? Wala. Because they were not married. So, anong meron? Ang properties nila are governed by co-ownership. So, co-ownership lang. Kung married sila, eto na yun. Could be either absolute community of property regime, conjugal partnership of gains, complete separation of property, or any other regime na pinag-usapan nila na hindi naman akma sa tatlong nauna. Okay. Pero sabi ko nga pag-uusapan natin, yung married, particularly, eto. Absolute community of property regime, or in short, ACP. Ayan. System of property relationship is governed by marriage settlement executed before the marriage. So, ito ang tinatawag na prenuptial or antinuptial agreement. Before the marriage, meron silang pinag Uh, pinag-usapan kung ano ang marriage settlement nila, kung ano yung property relations nila. Halimbawa, ikinasal nga yung araw, they agreed on conjugal partnership of gains, yun ang masusunod. Basta it should be in writing, duly notarized, and executed before, yung anak sabi dito, before the marriage. Kasi kung after the celebration na, wala na yan, wala nang visa yan kahit pa nagpermahan sila. So, it should be executed before the marriage. E paano kung wala? Very common sa ating mga Pilipino na walang antinuptial agreement. Ano ang magiging marriage settlement nila? Or property relation? If there is no marriage settlement or the regime agreed upon is void, meron nga silang pinag-usapan pero hindi naman balido according to our civil law. Ano ang sistema? Depende kung kailan sila ay kinasal. If celebrated before August 3, 1988, Conjugal Partnership of Gain. Halimbawa, ikinasal 1980. Wala naman silang pinag-usapan kung anong property relations nila. Sa madaling sabi, walang marriage settlement. The properties of the spouses shall be governed by the Conjugal Partnership of Gain. E paano kung ikinasal, August 3, kasi ito before, before ito, paano kung ikinasal, August 3, or after that date, on or after August 3, 1988, absolute community of property regime. Okay. Pero ito, kung walang marriage settlement, Pero kung merong prenuptial agreement, kung ano ang napagkaisahan nila, kung ano yung gusto nila, hindi dyan makikialam ang estado. Ang pakikialaman lang ay kung ay yung validity, kung valid o void yung napag-usapan nila. Pero kung valid naman, eh yun ang gusto nila, property naman nila yan, yun ang masusunod. Ito nga, Kaya sabi ko, ito, this is only applicable 
if there is no marriage settlement. Okay, o kaya meron, pero void. Nadiklarang void. Okay, paano ba ito? Yan, this is August 3, 1988. The marriage is celebrated before August 3, 1988. Kaya tingnan mo, hindi... Umabot sa August 3. Hanggang August 2 lang. Okay. Ano ang property relations nila? Conjugal partnership of gain. Eh, paano kung walang marriage settlement? Ikinasal on or after August 3, 1988. Anong property relations? Absolute Community of Property Regime, ACP. Okay. So, ano-ano yung properties under ACP? Tingnan natin. Ah, ito. Before August 3. Ito, before August 3 ito. With prenuptial agreement, sa madaling sabi, is there a marriage settlement? Yes. So, anong property relations nila? Whatever relationship has been agreed upon, kung ano yung gusto nila, yun ang masusunod. Yan. Paano kung no prenuptial agreement? What will govern the properties of the spouses? Conjugal partnership of gain. Kung conjugal partnership, ano ang classification ng properties? Exclusive of the husband, exclusive property of the wife, and conjugal properties of the spouses. Ito yung common property, communal property of the spouses. While if the marriage is celebrated on or after August 3, assuming there is prenuptial agreement, anong property relations nila? Kung ano ang napag-usapan nila? E paano kung walang pinag-usapan? Ano ang property relations nila? Absolute community of property regime. Okay, as yung mga absolute community, anong classifications ng properties ng mag-asawa? Exclusive property of the husband, exclusive property of the wife, and communal properties. Ito, this is the counterpart of conjugal properties under conjugal partnership of gain. So, pareho ang sistema. Under commun community properties sa conjugal properties, ang kalahati ng properties na yan, share ni husband. While the other half is a share of the wife. So, hati sila dyan. Pagka community properties or conjugal properties ng mag-asawa. Whereas, kung exclusive property ni husband, solo niya yan. Siya lang ang may-ari dyan. At saka kung exclusive property naman ni wife, siya lang ang may-ari niyan. Wala siyang kahati. Okay. Now, ano? Assuming they are under absolute community of property regime, ano ang mga properties na kasama sa absolute community or yung community properties, ano naman ang properties na kasama sa exclusive properties? Okay. Ito, absolute community of property. Unless otherwise provided, the community property shall consist of. So, ang mga naka-enumerate dito, Yan ang community property ng mag-asawa. In other words, common property of the spouses. All the property owned by the spouses at the time of the celebration of the marriage. Halimbawa, 
si lalaki merong lupain before kinasal, the moment na ikasal siya sa kanyang asawa, that will become community property. Halimbawa naman si babae, meron siyang bahay na mana sa kanyang mga magulang, dalaga pa siya. The moment na ikasal siya, yung bahay, common property na nilang mag-asawa. And then, the properties acquired during the marriage. Okay, that is also community property of the spouses. Uh, what properties naman ang kasama sa exclusive properties? Ni husband or ni wife? Ayan. Property acquired during the marriage by donation or inheritance by either spouse. Take note. Kanina, ang sinasabi ko, example ko, si babae nakamana ng property, dalaga pa siya. E paano dito? Nakamana rin, acquisition by inheritance or donation. Pero pagkakaiba dito, during the marriage. During, na not before. Kasi if the acquisition took place before the marriage, papasok yan sa Number one sa community property. Brought into the marriage by either spouse. Okay, so ang sinasabi dito, exclusive property of the spouse if the acquisition took place during the marriage. Halimbawa, si babae na kamana ng bahay may during the marriage na that will be falling under her exclusive properties. Pero kung naman niya before the marriage, that will become community property in the marriage. Okay. Hindi lang yung naman, including the fruits, as well as income, thereof, if any, unless it is expressly provided by the donor, the stator, or grantor, na kasama sa community property nilang mag-asawa. Halimbawa, namana niya from her parents yung bahay during the marriage. Pero sabi naman ng parents niya, o namana niya from her father, sabi ng father sa will, that will become community property of the spouses. Okay, so, ano mangyayari? Even if the acquisition took place, During the marriage, dahil yun ang kagustuhan ng tatay niya, magiging community property nilang mag-asawa yung bahay which she inherited from her father. Okay, malinaw yan. Next, property for personal or exclusive use of either spouse. However, jewelry shall form part of the community Property. Later on, pag-uusapan natin ang jewelry. Jewelry. Sabi dito, community. For personal and exclusive use of either spouse. Halimbawa, personal belongings. Okay. Next. Property acquired before by the marriage by either spouse. So, before, acquired before the marriage. Who has legitimate descendants by a former marriage. And the fruit as well as the income if any of such property. Ang madaling sabi, ang pinag-uusapan dito, second marriage. During the second marriage, halimbawa, uh, si husband, married siya kay W, that is the first marriage. Meron silang isang anak, si A. Ito, property acquired by the spouses during the marriage. Ordinarily, uh, siyempre kung... Uh, 
community property nilang mag-asawa, yung kalahati diyan yung kalahati, he has banned, di ba? Ordinarily, pagka brought into the marriage by either spouse, yung property shall become community property. Pero ito, iba ito. Because the property has been acquired during the first marriage with W1. Okay. So, ikinasal si husband with W2. Okay. Kinasal si husband with W2. Itong share ni husband dun sa community property in the first marriage will remain as his exclusive property. Exclusive niya yan at hindi yan magiging community property in the second marriage. Pero take note, dapat merong legitimate descendants who has legitimate descendants. Meron sila, si A. Pero kung walang legitimate descendant in the first marriage, magiging community. Okay, malinaw yan. So, summary. Acquired by gratuitous title. Principal fruits. Acquired before the marriage. Tandaan mo yung example natin, yung bahay na mana ni babae before the marriage. What will be the classification? During the marriage, yung bahay shall be classified as community property of the spouses. How about income, if any? Community din. Okay. Paano kung na-acquire during the marriage? What will be the classification of the property? Exclusive. Doon yan sa exception number one. How about the fruits? Exclusive din. Okay. Malinaw yan. How about if the property... Ito yung una, by gratuitous title, ha? brought into the marriage, acquired or brought into the marriage. Before the marriage, pag-aari ni lalaki, yung lupain, pag-ikinasal, community, yung income ng lupain ni <clears throat> nilang mag-asawa community acquired during the marriage halimbawa merong negosyo si babae yung na-acquire nilang property during the marriage community income nung property na yun community also okay So, practice tayo. Practice. Community property regime. Before the marriage, this is the property owned by the, the man. Ikinasal. What will be the classification? Pag exclusive, blue. Pag community, red. Okay. Red or blue during the marriage. Property brought into the marriage. Community. Nag-earn ng income. Community. Nakama na si babae. Assuming si babae. Namatay yung father niya before the marriage. At nakama na siya ng bahay. Ikinasal. What will be the classification of the property? Community na. Nag-earn ng income. Community din. Okay, take note. Nakama na siya before the marriage. Ito ang boundary nila. Oh. Ito ang date of marriage. 
Okay. Paano kung during the marriage na? During the marriage, nakama na sa father. Anong classification ng property? Exclusive. Nag-earn ng income. Exclusive. Okay. And then, properties na na-acquire nila during the marriage. May sweldo si lalaki, may sweldo si babae, may other income si lalaki, may other income si babae. Community. Nag-earn pa ng income yung income. Community. Okay, malinaw na yan. Pwede na tayo sumabak sa problem. Dito muna tayo sa charges. Upon obligations of the absolute community. Okay. Ito, tatandaan mo. Chargeable against the community property, absolute community, basta nag-benefit yung family or yung community property nila. Lahat yan. Pare-pareho ang ibig sabihin yan. All debts and obligations contracted during the marriage by the designated administrator spouse, kahit sino sa dalawang mag-asawa, nag-umutang. Basta yung inutang for the benefit of the community or by both spouses. Kahit pa yung si lalaki lang bilang administrator, silang mag-asawa ang umutang, o si babae lang, basta for the benefit of the community, yung utang chargeable against the community property of spouses. Debts and obligations contracted by either spouse without the consent of the other. Kahit walang consent. To the extent that the family may have been benefited. Basta nag-benefit yung family, yung mag-asawa, yung community property nila, that is chargeable against the community property of the spouses. All taxes and expenses for the mere preservation made during the marriage upon the separate property of either spouse used by the family. Kahit separate property, basta used by the family, nag-benefit yung family, chargeable against the community property. Antinuptial debts, meaning utang before the marriage, of either spouse in so far as they have redounded to the benefit of the family. So, madali lang tanda na, chargeable against the absolute community property of the spouses if the community property, the family, or the spouses were benefited by the charges and obligation. Okay. So, problem na. Problem one. Isang problem lang naman ito. Jose, married in 2000 to Petra, died leaving the following properties. Hmm, dami. Mango plantation. Iisa-isay natin yan mamaya. Hindi na yan pa. Okay. Isa-isahin natin. Under absolute community tayo ha. Absolute community of property regime. Mango plantation brought into the marriage by Jose. Anong classification? Community. Income of plantation. Community. Stuck with arts corporation. Earned by Petra during the marriage. Earned during the marriage. Community. Dividends from arts corporation. Community. 
passenger jeep inherited by Jose in 2005. And then, siyempre, titignan natin, ang relevant question dyan ay, when was the marriage celebrated? Before or during the, uh, when was the passenger jeep inherited? Before or during the marriage? Kailan ni Kinasal? 2000. Kailan na mana? 2005. Therefore, na mana during the marriage na. Ano ang rule? Properties acquired by gratuitous title during the marriage shall be exclusive property of the heir. Exclusive of Jose. Income, exclusive also. Kasi nga mayroon sabi doon, and the fruits as well as income thereof if any. Coconut land inherited by Petra, 1998. Before or during the marriage, ikinasal 2000 na inherit 1998. Therefore, before. So anong mangyayari? What will be the classification? Community. Income of land earned during the marriage. Community also. Underwear of Petra. Ah, or exclusive use of Petra. Exclusive of Petra. Cash unidentified. When and by whom acquired. Community. Jewel race inherited by Petra. In 2010, from her mother. Oh, na inherit. Pero Jewel Reed, di ba dun sa, balikan nga natin. Yung, balikan natin yung rule. Exclusions from Community property or exclusive property of the spouses. Property yung number to doon. Property for personal or exclusive use of either spouse. However, jewelry shall form part of the community property. Sabi, jewelry shall form part of the community property. Pero doon naman sa ex uh, exemption number 1, inherited during the marriage, exclusive. So, alin ang mag Yung una, kasi inherited during the marriage. So, this will be classified as exclusive of Petra. Hindi ito magiging community property. O ilan ang exclusive ni Petra? 85 and 320. Exclusive naman ni Jose, 760 and 27. 760. No, this should be 750. Balitan natin kasi yung sa solution, 750. Okay, so ayan. Mango plantation, community. Yung income is also community. Yung stock sa art, community. Yung dividends, community also. Passenger jeep, make it 750. Exclusive of Jose. The income of the jeepney, exclusive also. The coconut land brought into the marriage, community. The income is community. Underwear of Petra, exclusive. Yung cash cannot be identified. Community. And then the jewelry, exclusive of Petra. Total. Okay.
How much is the total community property of the spouses? 3,287,000. Ayan. The community property of the spouses and their absolute community of property regime. Alin dyan? Ito. RC. Next. The gross estate. If the spouses were under the absolute community of property regime. Ano ba ang kasama sa gross estate? Again, ano yung tatlong classification ng property under community property regime? Community property of the spouses, exclusive of the wife, exclusive of the husband. Alin dyan ang hindi kasama in the computation of the gross estate? Nope. Bakit nawawala? Alin dyan ang hindi kasama? Walaan mo. Ito. Hindi ko kasi ma... Ito ang hindi kasama. The exclusive property of the surviving spouse. Kasi buhay pa siya. Hindi naman pwedeng ipamana yung property niya na buhay pa siya. Kung gusto niya, i-donate niya. Inter vivos. But not mortis causa. So, total of the community properties of the spouses plus the exclusive property of Jose. Magkano yung total community? Yun. 3,287,000. How much is the exclusive property of Jose? 773,000. So the gross estate is 4,060,000. Meron bang kapareho? Ayun, Bianca. Okay. That's all about our discussion on absolute community of property regime. Sa sunod, conjugal partnership of gains naman. Okay, so... Images used in this episode are lifted from the net. Yung mga picture-picture. Yung sinipa, nilalaki, si babae. And don't forget to follow, to like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.